I'm not going to interrupt any of these except the first one, which I'm dedicating to Phil, because uh, as a fellow submariner and a fellow sailor, former sailors, he'll get this better than anybody. It is called Recruit's First March. The chaplain in his robe, the captain in his blues, we knew recruits are yesterday's news. Stripped down, shaved heads, armed with blankets, packed off to bed. At 3 a.m. we slept, at 4 a.m. we woke, to the crash of a trash can thrown as a joke. An epileptic seized from the sudden noise. A corpsman calmed his fits, then took him from we boys. Under darkened sky we marched, halted nut to butt at attention to be fed, though fear filled our gut. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this next one is Manhattan Laundry Center, corner of East 8th and Avenue C. I used to live in Alphabet City, so these are all Alphabet Cities after that. Uh, Manhattan Laundry Center, corner of East 8th and Avenue C. In spite of postmodernism, I find no metaphors at the laundromat, no detergent for man suffering. <laughs> the woman with two wailing kids and three trash bags stuffed to bursting is simply overburdened not a discursive sight needing hermeneutical attention. The best I can do here is manufacture a brief romance where a wobbling washing machine assists with a tryst. <laughs> Yet, in the teary eyes of those kids, a shadow of inspiration appears to be lurking. This place could really be about redemption, rebirth, a kind of baptismal font where we are our own Saint John, cleansing our faults of the flesh with the turgid swishes and swashes of tide. Now, I glean nothing here except a young woman's <coughs> sneer at my having gotten first to the last working dryer and the unshakable image of a man's black dress sock stiffened from the salt of sweat getting kicked about the floor. <laughs> This is Sidewalk Constellation. Prickly street lighting disrupts an amber moon glow. Filled with a kind of fog, electric, luminescent, foreboding, the night air itself is an omen. Two blocks ahead, the Jacob Reese housing projects float like an armada of salvage ships anchored to Avenue D. A gutter punk with a rust pit bull unleashed but loyally at his ankle, approaches. That your boy? A college kid staggers, falls against a parked car. I shake my head. The kid stands, plants his feet, kisses on plastic bags of trash. The sound like a wooden rattle is soft, comforting. Rats, unmoved by my approach, Scavenge garbage, new and old. A mattress bends against a tree. A trash picker picks through the municipal trash can for recyclable bottles and cans. Two pass on my left, spewing nebulae of cigarette smoke. I connect the dots. A street light to a traffic light, to the amber moon, to the light above my stoop. The dots suggest no shape, no animal mythical or real. It is how I make my way home. One minute. And thank you. Uh, here we go. Rhyming rat poem. Hey, ratty rat, stop eating the trash. You're going to get fat. There's a hawk in this park. If he gets you, you'll squawk. Then see from above all the trash cans you love, overflowing with waste, delicious food you won't taste. His lunch on a roof. This hawk is for real. He's not a tartuffe. So go to the dump. Set up shop. Get plump. Where only gulls dive and lazy cats thrive but kids do not play and I do not stray on my way to work past Avenue A. <laughs> and this one is good. And it's after part of this night. NYC poem. Fish as we, swimming sea Manhattan, may ne'er dart from each other again.